Hey guys, making this really important video for you about depression um, and other mood disorders and feelings that you may have be having and how they are affected by the food and the drinks that you are putting into your mouth. So whether you know it or not, you're taking medications. Um, maybe you didn't get it from the doctor, but every time you cook something, eat something, buy something, a fast food or at a supermarket, it's a form of medication that you are putting into your mouth because whatever you're putting into your body, it's altering your system, it's altering your chemicals, it's altering um, the, the way your body works and the way you make you think and the way you feel. So we have neurotransmitters in our body, which is a fancy word of saying little chemicals in our body that either are helping us feel better um, or feel worse or think clearer or think foggy. So the, these neurotransmitters are serotonin, norepinephrine, dopamine, um, acetylcholine. These are different neurotransmitters that are running through our body and through our brain. And so the medications that you get prescribed when you go to psychiatrists usually are medications to increase this in your body and also for it for it to prevent it from breaking down and that way there could be more of it in your body and we can feel better and think better so but even if you are taking these medications and whether you're not the food that you're taking in has so much more of an impact on you because we're eating more throughout the day. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, you know, nighttime, nighttime snacking. So every time that you put something in your mouth, you're altering your chemicals in your body. So for me, I can go exercise, I can go to workshops, I can go to my AA meetings, I can go to my therapist. But if I'm eating like shit, it'll fuck me up. Like I will feel like a loser. I will feel like um, I... Like, not only am I bloated, like, physically, but mentally, I feel foggy. And mentally, it's just like, uh, it, like, takes my energy away. After I've invested all this energy into getting more energy, right? And to, it's just um, uh, an uphill battle, okay? So that's what we're doing to ourselves. If this is what's happening. You're doing all these great things. So there's a lot of foods out there that are connected to depression and have been researched to fuck you up a little bit more and for me what i've found is any kinds of sodas high fructose corn syrup um and things like that that are in foods um greasy foods obviously fried stuff right and i'm not i'm not a nutritionist right i am a nurse but i'm not a nutritionist and so i'm not going to sit here and be like this is how many grams you should have and this is how many calories and it's not about um i i don't I can't, I can't um, talk to that, but I can talk to about how it makes me feel and how if you've been doing your best, let me dismiss this real quick, if you've been doing your best, it could be the food that's going into your mouth. It could be the drinks that you're having. Are you drinking? Did you know that alcohol is a depressant? So if you're out there, happy hour, having a great time, um, it makes you feel good, but really alcohol is a depressant. So it could actually be making you feel worse. You're, you're thinking it's making you feel better for a little bit amount of time. And usually comfort food does that, right? When you're we're feeling stressed, that comfort food really gets us going. So if you're really thinking of making a change and you're really listening to what I'm saying and you're like, holy shit, I need to like shift something, do one thing. Change one thing, you know? Um, whether it's more water today, whether it's saying no and passing that McDonald's right by and not stopping, whether it's getting a smaller hamburger versus a bigger one versus just make one change because I know you're if you're listening to this it's because sometimes you're in pain it's because sometimes you want your life to be different it's because you're looking for something new and different and food and what you put into your body is like your energy center it's like when you're playing a video game and you get lightened up you know or you get to the a boost round so when you, we eat like shit we actually go down and we go back to like the first level so don't fight against yourself you know so make that one shift today i have a friend that she's never made quinoa before she's like 30 i i mean i just learned about quinoa a couple years ago and quinoa is made in peru and that's where i'm from what the hell so i sometimes you learn new things and she's out there making new things because she's tired of the way she feels and i don't know why this camera is unfocusing sometimes but you hear me i'm here i know you're with me and um that's what I have for you today. So so for me today, I'll have some more water. I'll think twice before I um, before I eat that one thing. And if you do, and if you end up eating, don't beat yourself up. And like my friend says, beat yourself up. If you do, do it with a feather. 
but come back the next time you're eating all day so you have a chance every moment to make a difference of what you're putting into your body remember those neurotransmitters we want them we want the serotonin we want that um, norepinephrine we want that dopamine when we that's in our body more we feel more energetic and we feel and the ways you can get that more naturally are by exercise are by sex are by hugging are by talking nicely to yourself are by moving around and just being active in your life and the way we put them down is by the foods that we eat and sometimes i'm not going to just I'm, and, and i'm going to say this that we're not always in control of our neurotransmitters it's very genetic it's genetic as well there's other reasons um that's why sometimes people no matter what they're eating they need to take medications so i'm not saying that if you do this you don't need medications again i'm a nurse i've seen medications work i've also seen medications not work so this is why every individual has their own journey but yeah what i do know is if you are taking these medications and still eating like shit it can be messing you up and if you're not taking medications and you eat different it could make a difference all right i love you guys um don't give up you're not alone in this um battle of um depression you know and 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 these thoughts that may come to you where you feel like giving up and um keep sharing keep sharing your story you know you have a story to tell those tools that you used to help yourself someone needs to hear them too okay have an amazing, amazing day.